My name is Stephen, USSR Robinson, and thank you for watching Sport Icons. So Nathan Gorman, after 16 months out of the ring, of course, when he lost to Dan Dubois, comes back tonight and takes on Richard Latte. Richard Latte, of course, for those of you who don't know, he's the really the only kind of guy that really stuck it on Daniel Dubois and had him momentarily hurt, wobbled even. But either way, I think that Richard Latte is a decent comeback for Nathan Gorman. And of course, Nathan Gorman, he's had his own demons during those last 16 months. And of course, he got locked time down on top of it. And in fact, he actually lost, was it four, four or five stone, which was about 35 kilos just to get to tonight. And he's still not there yet. He's still overweight. You can see that he's overweight, that's for sure. But Gorman, he's always been quite a big lad anyway, but he relies on speed. Speed wasn't there tonight. Now, ring rust, sure. Um, inactivity, sure. The extra weight, sure. The fact that he's no longer with Ricky Hatton now. Maybe that's got something to do with it as well. I don't know. But either way, it was, it, it was a tough 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 man to come back against Richard Latte he's no mug but you wouldn't have really blamed Nathan Gorman if he come back and took on a journeyman or so I mean you could argue Richard Latte is a journeyman for me I think he's just a little bit above journeyman anyway here's what it is so it's a 10 round fight um, I believe it was a, an eliminator for the Commonwealth not entirely sure but it's a 10 round fight and to be honest with you, I think that Nathan Gorman, he probably won eight, nine of those rounds. Arguably 10. Some people may have been like 10 to zero. Can't really argue with it too much. But I think that there were moments in this fight where Nathan Gorman didn't look great. Richard Latte would land quite flush on him at times, okay? But at the end of the day, if you close your eyes to listen to this fight and listen to John Rawlin and Richie Woodall on commentary, you think that Nathan Gorman was like Muhammad Ali, okay? I'm not, I'm not gonna give you that one. He, he certainly wasn't, okay? Of course, he won these rounds, but some of those rounds were quite close, I thought. Nathan Gorman, he looked like he was starting to fatigue a bit. Richard Latte looked like he was there just to get to the end of the fight at times and then maybe put it on Nathan Gorman towards the end. But that's not to say Richard Latte didn't have success in this fight, and he did, and he pressed back Nathan Gorman. Every time Gorman's back touched the ropes, Richard Latte was jumping all over him, okay? And some of these big shots were actually getting through, so credit to Nathan Gorman for taking these shots. But he, for me, I think Nathan Gorman, he's got all the skills in the world. You, you can see that he's have, um, his footwork is fantastic, his jab is razor sharp, but he needs to be a bit more heavy handed, but I think that will come when he finds his optimum weight, to be honest with you. But either way, it was a good win for him. It wasn't a splendid performance, but I don't think Nathan would mind me even saying it, that we've seen much better from him and we will see much better for him. So for me, this was not a 10 out of 10 performance the way that John Rawlin and Richie Woodall would have everybody believe. It wasn't whatsoever. For me, this is probably about a six, a six out of 10 for Nathan Gorman. But at the end of the day, from where he was, losing four or five stone, to get down to where he is, he's done very well. And of course, he's been very demotivated ever since he lost to Dan Dubois. We know that he's been having some personal problems in that as well. So for him just to get to this point, is huge congratulations to Nathan Gorman. And I look forward to seeing him. Um, I've been a big fan of Nathan Gorman for quite some time. So, so I'm always gonna support him. I know people will judge him by what happened with the Dan Dubois fight. That's very unfair, I think. And of course, his performance tonight wasn't brilliant but I don't think too many people expected it to be brilliant. But anyway, it is what it is. Um, Nathan Gorman wins quite comfortably this fight, comfortably as in points, but there are moments in this fight where I ain't gonna lie to you, I thought that Richard Latte may have actually got him out of there on a, on a couple of occasions, but luckily I think uh, the TV made it look worse than maybe what it really was. But anyway, it's what it is. Congratulations to Nathan Gorman, welcome back. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe, catch you all in the next video.